Hi there, this is Rardo with ENS Security. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an IP configuration using easy tools and through the local client of the recorder. The first method is through easy tools. You can download easy tools from our website at enssecurity.com. On easy tools, you have two options for the IP configuration. The first one is with the IP button. Here, you can manually enter the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway of the new IP camera. Once you're sure of the IP address, go ahead and hit OK, and you'll get a modification succeeded prompt. The second way would be through the gear icon or the settings. When you click on this, you'll be prompted to edit, enter login credentials. Our default credentials are admin and 123456. Once here, we're gonna go to network, and in IP obtain mode, you can select static IP, PPOE, or DHCP. For static IP, we'll be able to manually enter the IP address and click Save. We'll get a prompt warning you that you might lose connection to the IP camera. Once you're sure of the IP address, go and hit Yes, and your IP modification should have been successful. The second way to perform an IP configuration is through the recorder's web client. Make sure that we use an Internet Explorer for this. Once logged in, we're going to go to Setup, Camera, and then Add. Go ahead and hit the search button, and the recorder will auto-populate a list of IP addresses that you can change. Find the IP address you want to change, and hit the pencil icon. Here, you can input the new IPv4 address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Make sure we also put in the, law, the correct login credentials for the camera. Once you share the new IP address, hit save. And that's how you configure an IP address through easy tools and through the web client.